Sexify, a Netflix original series, revolves around three university students, the geek girl, the sweet one, the wild one, and the final year project on the verge of startup unicorn status. I never did graduate from university. So this show is pretty sticky to me. And furthermore, it's produced from Poland. And the protagonist, Natalia, the geek girl, she spends her entire university years programming this app that's supposed to optimize sleep. Yes, you heard me right. Sleep, as in... And despite her lecturer marking her project the highest in the class, the lecturer says that it's got to be... I need something that turns everyone on. Hmm? What should I do then? Clearly, she's upset and not taking it too well. Her best friend, Paulina, the sweet one, is getting married soon. Questions her commitment when Star Spangled Banner is the only position her fiancé performs. <laughs> Maybe we could change positions? You don't like it this way. I do. I really like it, honey. Her fiancé is in the military, so no surprise there. Later, she tries to spice things up by wearing a lingerie and teases him because all she wants to do is to make him happy. And guess what happened? Monica, the wild one, aka Spoiled Brat. She is Natalia's classmate, and her dorm is just right next to Natalia's. And two episodes gone, she already had five sex scenes. And gas for number four. Oh, and these two. Sun's really blinding. <laughs> Natalia pivoted her project with her classmate, Rafa, who was then invited to her dorm to work on it. We're supposed to come up with something everybody's going to need. Right, partner? not even midnight or full moon yet. From that onwards, Natalia realized the something that turns everyone on is sex. And she went and asked her BFFs for help. I know everything. Find yourself another guinea pig to do your tests. Thank you. Bad move. Paulina's sex life is as cold as having a honeymoon in North Pole. Of course she gets defensive. Doing what? Just what you do all the time. Meaning? Having sex. With men. Or women. Doesn't matter. And provide me with data. Leave. Bad idea. News of Monica's promiscuity travels faster than you can say, drop it like it's hot. Of course she gets defensive when Natalia thinks that she's a sex expert. Both of them agreed to help Natalia out. For contrasting reasons, um, Paulina wants to experience orgasm while Monica wants to pass the final year exam. And testing the app seems to be the right thing to do, but unfortunately, it hit a roadblock. Monica couldn't come while testing the app and because she's thinking of her ex-boyfriend. What the heck? What just happened? I can't do it. She went to see him next at his office to tell him that their relationship is over. And guess what? They ended up sleeping with each other at the sexiest place in this world ever imaginable. 
the conference table. <laughs> She's not all bimbo, by the way. She solved a difficult math question given by her lecturer in front of the class. So, don't judge a book by its cover. No, a book by its cover. A book. It got a little weird when Natalia, asking volunteers to masturbate in her makeshift laboratory in her room. Uh, would you agree to... Um... Do exactly that in a safe, controlled environment away from the mood-breaking eye of the public? More like masturbatory. Would you like to pleasure yourself in my masturbatory? <laughs> Excuse me? Copulation station, aka the masturbatory, is erected. Things are going great. Data are collected from participants, but problem arises when Rafa, her rival for the final year project, stumbles upon her new idea. Clear. It's Easter holiday and Natalia screwed up big time because uh, she felt for the first time intimately connected with someone but somehow she blurted out that uh, the feelings that she felt is for the sake of testing the app. You like to... What do you want? Do you think we could have sex? Excuse me? I finished my app's prototype and I have to check if it, it's working at all. On the other hand, Rafa celebrating Easter with his family got teased saying that his app is not marketable, it's boring, and doesn't excite his peers. And that leads to him mailing the head of university and snitching Natalia's copulation station. When the head of uni received the email from Rafa, the girls quickly evacuated the copulation station and some of the participants shows no remorse at all, especially Fess from that 70s show Lookalike. We need to find out who turned us in. I'm not leaving school like this. All right. Ciao, Bella. Dorm room number 69, the copulation station residents Natalia and Paulina were interrogated by the head of university and raised themselves of being expelled immediately without any prior notice. The unspoken contract of friendship was tested when Paulina, the overly protective one, blames Natalia for all this mess. The head of uni cancels the orgasm app and gave the girls an ultimatum. Withdraw their project from the regional competition and get to stay in school. So, Rafa, at this moment, his project is holding the runner-up's title, so he got promoted. I just experienced is totally something new. It was a super dimension of feeling everything, sex and total pleasure, and the app was what got me there. Our app is working. Monica using the app and Climax without thinking about her ex-boyfriend, and that proves the app works. The girls went against the head of uni, and with the lecturer's help, locked Rafa up just before the regional competition was about to commence and pitched their idea in front of the committee. Their determination to go against the head of university's warning can't be discounted, let alone losing to The watch that turns into a drone that takes selfies Created by the team from the University of Information Technology in Paradisa Ends with Monica's filthy rich father funds the app himself, and the girls are hysterical. I conclude my show here, and if there's anything that I can do for you, well, um, you 
you can do something for me probably and subscribe to my channel. All right, goodbye.